What's up guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a mirror using Vary for SketchUp. Let's get it. Okay, what is up guys, uh, we are back into the SketchUp scene and as you can see here I have my black room or box I'll say. I have an opening here for sunlight to come in and light up our scene. I have two scenes created here. Scene one is going to give us a close up of the stormtrooper head, and scene two is going to give us like everything just basically the stormtrooper head and the concrete pedestal which is resting on. And the plan is to have our mirror here so we can see the effects fully. Okay, to begin, I'm going to draw a rectangle plane over here. And thank god I have these guidelines I made. Simply made a rectangle here and I deleted just the face and I left the edges. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to select my rectangle tool, select my rectangle tool, and I'm going to click this and drag it all over here. All right, instead of using the rectangle tool over here, if we know the shortcut as R, you can just use R and then you get your rectangle tool. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a group. Why? Because I need more control over it and I want to tidy up my SketchUp scene. Because as this is just hanging around, if I have another material here, you can see that they are linked and I don't want that. So making this a group will make me able to be make me be able to select it when I want and do anything I want just to that group. So I simply select everything and I then right click and I make this a group. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open this plane and then use my push pull tool which you can find over here and then give this block a little thickness let's say 10 centimeters 10 millimeters sorry 10 1 centimeter 10 millimeters or an inch depending on what you're doing okay and let's check out our scene to see how this looks all right this is going to create a perfect mirror like reflection here but before we get started we need to create our mirror material and that is me going to the very asset editor so i'm going to do i'm going to simply click the very asset editor over here and I'm going over to the material category over here and as you can see I have a bunch of materials most of them are this from the stormtrooper as you can see and I also have the wall paint which I used to paint this wall and everything so to create a material I'm going to go over here to create an asset I click this and I go over to materials and then I go to generic material so Vray helps me in creating a generic material when I can click this and I see the rollouts and this is the material it has made a gray material with no reflections, no reflect, no refractions, no bumps, no displacement whatsoever, which is all right. And before I begin, I want to tidy up my workspace. All the materials I know they are named funny, so I'm going just going to double click on this, or I right click this and I rename, and I type in, you guessed it, mirror. All right. So, what is a mirror? A mirror reflects shows you a reflection of yourself whenever you look into it a reflection of whatever is in front of it so it's basically a reflecting plane so that means we're going to work with reflections now okay so here we have reflection color which specifies the color of the material or the color of the highlights or reflection all right so i'm simply going to make this white and as you see here it changed you can see more reflection to this the reflection color if i make this let's say red it's make our reflection a red color but i'm leaving it white so it will give us a more lifelike and mirror-like reflection according to v-ray's own settings here okay now this looks more like a shiny plastic and what i'm going to do i'm going to show you guys i'm going to change this or apply this to this plane we have here we'll do a quick interactive render to see the difference between this and the final mirror we make at the end so i'm going to simply right click this and go to apply to selection I'm going to apply this to our plane over here and for a quick interactive render i'm going over to settings selecting interactive and i'm going to make our render image and height 700 by 394 which is fair to give us a quick interactive render and let's check how it works now okay our render just started and as you can see we can see a grayish plane here but we have no reflections on the gray plane let me change the scene to the close-up of the head and you can see still no reflection yeah still no reflection so what are we going to do about it we're going to just tweak a little more settings and then you're going to see exactly what i want you guys to see so first off we're going to stop this interactive render right now and then we're going back to the asset editor 
and then I'm making a really really vital change to this material now over here in the diffuse section here it says the material is a gray color what I want to do I want to make this totally black I want to make this totally black all right so bring this slider all the way down as you can see it changed over in the sketchup model and also in our material edit edit space and now under reflections we have two options fresnel and reflection ior now if you want to know more about reflections i have a video on how to use reflections using very for sketchup you can click on the card over there but for now i'm just going to click this reflection index of reflections and here we have this value as 1.6 which is pretty low now what does this do this uses the reflection ior value to be specified for reflection portion of the material is basically the strength of the reflection so if this is 1.6 and it's giving us a more plastic look now let me take this up to about 15 and you can see we have like a metal look but it's more mirror like now this is what we're going to use and this is how to make a mirror using very first sketchup so looking at this now we have this out before of the gray and let's do a quick interactive render to show you how this looks with our new settings involved all right our interactive render just started as you can see we have perfect mirror like reflection on this side of the plane i'm going to switch it over to the second scene so that we can see more of this and yes yeah you can see it's basically like a mirror and i'm going to do a quick render of this to show you guys the final image of this with the mirror simply go back to my settings and i change this from interactive not to progressive but to, i deselect progressive rendering because i don't want uh progressive rendering or bucket rendering instead and my render output 700 by 394 i'm just going to increase this to a thousand and we'll hit our render and you see the final results in a few seconds okay so our render just finished and as you can see we have a mirror plane here showing us the exact reflection side of the back of this stormtrooper head and this concrete column all right thank you guys so much for watching this video do make sure to check out other videos in my channel and also if you want to subscribe to this channel hit the circle on the left side of the screen and if you want to check out the previous video hit the right side of the screen thank you and i'll see you in the next one